You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and today I have a friend and fellow colleague from over at Massasoit Community College, Jensen DeNoise, who does a wonderful show called Hero and You. Jensen, good to see you. Good to see you too, Mark. Happy summer. Yeah, same here. Um, summer. You're off for the summer teaching yeah. from the teaching profession and then back in the fall, uh, back yeah. to speech? Yes, pretty much. I'm looking, I always look forward to it. I look forward to the kids. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I look forward to the break so I can recharge the batteries and go from there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Harry. You know, definitely. but in the meantime, you're doing great work and you're volunteering and you have a new Hero and You show. So thank tell you. us about it. Oh, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, the new episodes on Sense of Purpose. Mm -hmm. And Sense of Purpose is a follow-up to our holiday episode, which was on generosity, which was aired on BCA. I just want to say thank you guys for hearing You're it. welcome. And so with generosity, you're doing a lot of kind work, doing a lot of great deeds to the community, but after doing the great work and the good deeds, maybe that is a sign of a sense of purpose. Maybe that's a sign of fulfillment. So we did an episode on sense of purpose, and with sense of purpose, Mark, it is that, that drive, that motivation for one to have on a daily basis, for one to know his or her value. And the, pretty much the one question that everyone asks, the why. Mm -hmm. when, they, when we have a goal, why? When we stay focused, why? Mm -hmm. And so the sense of purpose, by having a sense of purpose, it gives us the strength and the courage to move on and reach our fulfillment. Well, every day, you know, you think about it, you sit down, um, you might have a to-do list. Yeah. It could be objectives, it could be goals, slightly different. It, it's like, why do, you, why, why do you get up in the morning? Yes. And why do you do what you do? Exactly. Um, the reason I love community television so much versus broadcast television, there are different purposes for them. Broadcast right. television is get the facts, bam. You know, if it bleeds, it leads. True. It's not always positive. Right. You're covering the news. I know we're in the age of fake news now, which is a whole other story. We could talk about that for hours and days. <laughs> okay. Right. But um, community access is about community. True. Okay. So you have two people on the show that you're featuring. Yes. I love the name that you told me first. So tell me that name again. The, <laughs> the, the, the woman. Digit Murphy. Digit. Digit Murphy. Okay. I've yes. never heard that name before yeah. for a name in my <laughs> entire life. So good for her. Yeah. And she is, uh, is she president, you said? A United Women's Soccer League yes. owner, organizer? How does that all She's work? a founder of founder. the United founder. Women's Lacrosse League. Okay. Yeah. I said soccer. I meant yeah. lacrosse. Lacrosse, that is a tough sport. Yeah. Right? That's a... That's a sport that you're driving. It, it, you don't slow down for five seconds if you're playing lacrosse, right? Ab absolutely. No, no, no. Um, actually, how I met her is a very interesting story. Okay. Uh, what happened back in March, my sister uh, and her, my nieces, her daughters, two daughters, they actually went to China for spring break. Okay. And so one of my nieces, when they were at a hotel, they lost, she lost a doll at, the, at a restaurant. And so they were looking for it. And so I believe... There was a lady, American lady, who found the doll. Okay. And so she chatted with my sister, and uh, my sister asked her where she's from, I believe. I'm not too sure, but I believe she said she was from New England. Okay. And then they connected, and then um, somehow, I don't know how, but they got connected and talked about Hero and You. Okay. And so she said that she was interested in being part of Hero and You. You and know. being on the episode, and so my sister called me. She's like, "Oh my goodness, there's a lady in China who wants to be on your show." I'm like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> and so that's how stuff happens. Yeah, but then, uh, but afterwards, my sister sent me her business card, and I was like, "Oh, wait a minute, this is not a prank." <laughs> and okay. so we stayed in contact, and um, Digit Murphy, we got connected, and we actually did the episode. And one thing that's really fascinating about her, her history, um, she was, uh, she was a. a coach, a hockey coach for Brown University. Mm -hmm. And right now, not only does she have the lacrosse league, but she also coaching the first female hockey team in China. Mm. And so, but for this episode, I focus on her lacrosse league. They had an event, they had a match at Attleboro High School. And I interviewed her. She talks about her background, about finding her sense of purpose. Her purpose is to have empower young athletes, female athletes, to find, to find opportunities in the professional sports because she stated that after after college sports they struggle to find uh, to work in the sports field most of the sports I mean is WNBA but you basically hear about male sports exactly and the females you know get kind of left by the wayside 
back in the day there was Title IX, which made equality in sports in high school. Yes. But she not that, much yeah. beyond that. So you got to watch the show to know more about it. Yes. Correct? Yeah. So your second guest is Jimmy Pereira. Yes. Who is one of, one of the many candidates yes. for mayor now. Many. I think they're up to 10 or 11 at this point. Yes. I know Jimmy. Jimmy's over at the Old Colony Planning Council. Exactly. He works over there. Yeah. I know a little bit about him. I've met him. Very pleasant, very nice guy. Yeah. Um, the question I'm hearing, and maybe you address it in the show, is, okay, you're 25 years old. How could you possibly be qualified or ready to be mayor? That's a very, I, I, he probably addresses it, right? Yeah, he does. Yes, he does. Okay. Um, to, well, the part is this. Um, the reason why, to answer that question, is simply because of a sense of purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, for this episode, we interviewed him on uh, a sense of purpose. We asked him, actually, have, um, actually, before I continue on with the interview, yeah. actually, for this episode, I had my crew members on this episode. It consists of... Simone Antunes. Okay. Yeah, for, yeah. Uh, who's a co-host. Yeah. I also have uh, Christopher Bezier, who pr also produced this episode, and I also have Elsa Suxo. Yeah, right, right, right. yeah, yeah in Elsa. My class. She yeah, yeah. TV class. Yeah. I got the three-minute cue, so we're gonna oh, keep okay. it going. So yeah, you have your crew in the show yeah. as well. Yes, and they interview um, Jimmy. And he, Jimmy says that his sense of purpose is servitude. So he wants to serve the city and serve the community, and that's the reason why he wants to run for mayor. Service. Well, service is a pretty strong theme that runs through a lot of things. Rotary, as you know, service above self. True. Okay. I use commitment to community when I ran because I'm committed to the community. I've been involved in it for almost 40 years. Right. Um, he's a hard worker. He's out there pressing the flesh. It's, it's hard to get attention when you are the challenger, no oh, matter yes. what office you're going for. Right. And uh, it's, I mean, I think he's doing something unique coming up. He's doing a yard sale as a fundraiser. Yes. yes. I've never seen a candidate do that before. Yeah, so try yeah, something so. different and do something new. Yeah, very but fascinating. Yes. Obviously, so um, if you, when you're looking for guests and stuff like that, do people contact you? Do you reach out? How does that work? A combination of both. Okay. People reach out. Uh, reach out to me, or if there's a, a, a member of my crew who's mm -hmm. fascinated by a story, we work together and then interview the person. Yeah. So if somebody wanted to get in touch with you to, to be on the show, I know you have Facebook. I've seen you promote. I saw you with pictures of the shoot in Attleboro that oh, you're yeah. talking about. <laughs> so how do people get in touch? Oh, the first off is the website. Mm -hmm. um, the website is www.findthehero.com. Yeah. Another way to contact us is on uh, Instagram at the hero and you, mm -hmm. and Twitter uh, at find the hero. Okay, there you go. So all three high tech ways to get you. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Thanks, Trenton. It's always good to have you on, and Thank I you, can't Mark. wait to see what you have and what's in store next. Oh yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.